Hello and welcome back to my channel which is all about style and confidence for the 50 plus woman. If this is your first visit here I do make videos every week and they're all on the subjects of colour, capsule wardrobes and how to look confident in your 50s and beyond. If you haven't already you might want to click on the subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified whenever I make a new video. The subject that I want to talk about today is style on a budget. Um, I get a lot of questions asking for pieces that are good quality but are also a good price, um, budget friendly items, the kind of things that you're going to be able to get a lot of value from in your wardrobe. So I've put together a whole load of things which I'm going to talk to you about and I've got some pictures which I'm going to show you as well that I'll be slotting in as we go through. I have got some notes so if you do get me looking down it's because I just don't want to forget anything that I'm going to say to you. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to say is that for me style on a budget is not about fast fashion. Now um, in my younger days I can remember I'd be going out on a Saturday night and I would want something new to wear and uh, so I'd go out buy myself something new and it might get worn that night it might get worn once or twice again but after that the whole cycle would start all over again. I think we're all beyond that now we all think a lot more about the environment about the damage that it's doing with fast fashion and also about getting good costs per wear out of the things that we buy um, especially with the situation at the moment a lot of us don't have huge amounts of disposable income that we can spend on clothes and for me the last few years has been a lot more about buying much less but buying really good quality and pieces that I know are going to last me for years and years to come. Now that doesn't mean to say that there's a new trend out and I want to buy into it um, and that I wouldn't because if there's something that I really love that I want to bring into my wardrobe then I will do. But most of the time I will really be thinking about these items that I buy. Am I going to get good cost per wear from them? Do they work with the other pieces that are in my wardrobe? Um, can I wear them three different ways? You've probably heard of these things before. So that buying decision takes a little bit more time and a little bit more thought because I really want to maximise the wear that I get out of the money that I spend. So I'm not talking about fast fashion, I'm not talking about just easily disposable items, but what I want to do is give you some idea of where to buy, because um, there are some places that are either really good budget friendly or they do really good discounts and sales, and also the kind of things to look out for so that you know that even if something hasn't cost you an awful lot to buy it, you're still going to get plenty of wear out of it. The other thing that I would like to say here as well is when you're thinking about cost per wear from an item, please don't save things for best. Um, as we all know, best has changed an awful lot in these last three or four months. You know, um, we're not going out very much at the moment. So still wear those nice pieces. I mean, obviously I'm not saying wear a ball gown during the day when you're sitting at your desk, but um, anything that you've bought that you really love that makes you feel good then wear it because those opportunities for going out and for best are much fewer at the moment. So that's one thing that I would really emphasise is if you've got beautiful things in your wardrobe that you love make sure that you get the wear out of them. And then when I'm talking about budget it could be that um, as I said it's a uh, perhaps a high street store which has really good prices. Budget could be that you're um, buying things that are either in the sale or um, a lot of brands are doing sort of flash discounts at the moment. So you can pick up things that were a little bit more expensive that perhaps you wouldn't have bought that you can do now because they are at a lower price point. And then the third option is to look at pre-loved clothes. And I know there can be a little bit of a stigma about this. Um, I have bought and sold pre-loved in the past. Quite often what you would find though is when you went to one of these pre-love shops you'd walk in and that sort of musty smell would hit you. 
Um, if you don't already know, my sister Liz has a pre-loved business. She has a website where you can buy items online, but she also does um, video consultations for you. And this is great because it means that she can actually show you the fabric and show you what the item looks like so that you get a really good feel for um, what that particular item looks like. She can describe the quality to you, she can describe the fit to you and actually sort of show it against her so you can see what that item is really like because sometimes just buying from a photo online um, that's a question that I get from a lot of people who say they're not so keen on buying online because they can't see what the fabric's like. I'm going to be talking about fabrics and what to look out for later on but I did just want to mention um, buying pre-loved because it can be a really good way of getting a fantastic bargain. I know that a lot of the items that Liz has have still got their labels on, they're brand new, um, you know we've all done that in the past, we've bought something, perhaps it was for an occasion and it didn't get worn, it's now tucked away at the back of the wardrobe making us feel guilty. So um, take advantage of that and go and buy other people's um, pieces that they didn't want but that are still in fantastic quality. So I did want to mention that, I mean obviously there are lots of pre-loved um, shops that you can go to as well, you can look on eBay, um, there are other online stores that do um, pre-loved things, people like Vestiaire who do pre-loved designer pieces. Um, but I just wanted to mention Liz because she does do this online um, video service for you as well. So that's three different types of budget friendly that you might be looking at. So on to some examples and the first thing that I wanted to talk about was fabric. Quite often my subscribers and readers will say to me that they want me to show more budget friendly items. Now um, I probably have a bit of a reputation for buying more high end pieces. Actually I don't, you know I do buy things from Marks and Spencers, from Next. If I find something that does fit into my key buying rules which are always going to be about quality. Um, I am quite particular about fabrics and so I wanted to talk a little bit about fabrics. Obviously I really like natural fabrics, so things like silk, um, cotton, wool, cashmere I love, but again those fabrics do tend to come at more of a premium than say polyester does. However, what I would say is if you can, avoid polyester and look at some alternatives. And the reason I say that is because um, polyester doesn't last as well, it doesn't wash as well, and it can also be quite scratchy. So I've got an example here of this sort of caftan top, which I've had for a couple of years now. I have worn it um, several times, actually not as much as I have worn other pieces in my wardrobe. I will slot in a picture of me wearing this at the Rewards Tile Conference in Dallas, um, because that particular picture had one of the highest number of likes on Instagram. So clearly you liked this um, top. But the one thing I would say about it is it is polyester. That time when I wore it, it was absolutely boiling hot and it does need a camisole underneath it. Now this top came with a camisole, but again, it was one of those really horrible polyester ones. And I knew that I would be absolutely sweltering in the two because they're not, polyester is not very good in hot weather. So what I will tend to do with something like this that comes with its own camisole is I will remove that and put a nicer quality camisole underneath it, perhaps a silk one or a cotton one. And that does help you stop getting quite so hot if it's a hot day. And also this fabric is a little bit sort of stiff and scratchy and it just means that next to your skin that's a little bit softer. So that's one of my tips I would give you about polyester. Now the next fabric that I want to talk about is something which has several names. Um, you may have heard it called rayon, you may have heard it called lyocell, you may have heard it called tencel, and you may also have heard it called modal. 
all of these kind of um, describe one particular fabric. It comes from something natural. It's actually made of wood pulp. And those different names are kind of the different um, generations that it's gone through. So it started out as rayon, then it became modal, then it became um, Tencel, which was actually an American brand name. And it's now evolved into Lyocell. It can be a little bit more expensive than say cotton, but it has some great qualities which um, I want to sell to you and tell you that are really worth buying. And I've got an example here, this little top from Borkian, and um, you can see that it really drapes beautifully. The other thing about this soft, this top is that it's very, very fine. It's really, really soft, very tactile, really comfortable to wear, especially um, in the heat wave that we're going to be having over the next week or so. The other thing about this fabric is that it does wick the moisture away from the body so it keeps your skin dry and it's also therefore really good for sensitive skin. So I do think it's worth, um, if you've got a choice between something that is polyester and something that's made out of lyocell, tensor, whatever you want to call it, Go for this, even if it is a few pounds more, it's definitely worth it. It will wash nicely, it will wear nicely, and it will be much more comfortable for you to wear as well. So I want to sing the praises of it. Now, if you're looking at this fabric, and viscose kind of comes into this as well. Viscose is also made from wood pulp, and it comes in kind of a few different looks. So this particular top, which um, was from Fat Face last year, they're a really good um, option to look at. They do some great quality at good prices. So put them on your list of places to look. And this one has kind of a crinkle to it. Um, it is viscose. Again, it hangs beautifully, washes beautifully. This one, because it's crinkled, has got kind of a little bit of a stretch to it as well. This one is also viscose, and this is just a top from um, Next. It was very inexpensive um, because it's viscose. Again, it hangs nicely, it washes nicely. It's nice and cool to wear. Um, this time though, it has more of a sort of crepe feel to it, but it is still viscose. And the third one that I wanted to show you is this one which you will have seen me wearing before and this one kind of feels more like a soft brushed cotton wood but again it is still viscose. Now this top, um, when I'm talking about fabrics and quality um, and buying the best quality, this top was really inexpensive. I think it was somewhere in the £20 mark. However, <laughs> although it is viscose and it's comfortable to wear, you can kind of see in the quality of how it's finished and how it's sewn that it isn't an expensive top. Um, the little uh, things at the back that do it up, the button holes are starting to fray a little bit. So although it wasn't very expensive, I'm not going to get as good cost per wear from this one as I might do out of some other pieces that are in my wardrobe. So, um, if you are buying on the high street and buying things that aren't quite so expensive, then also have a look at the quality, have a look at how they're made, have a look at how much seam allowance they've got so that they're not pulling on the seams. If they're pulling, they're not going to fray. Most brands will now um, overlock on the seam. So what that means is when the seam's been created and it's laying flat like that, they will then turn it up and sew along the top piece here as well. And that does help to prevent from fraying. So also have a look at button holes to make sure there's no little frays on those. Have a look at the way zips are put in. Make sure that they have been put in nice and straight. Um, when you're looking at the hems, have they got a decent allowance on the hem if you wanted to let them down a little bit? So all of those things are really worth looking at when you're buying something that's not quite so expensive. And in fact, when you're buying anything, because if you are paying a lot of money for it, then obviously you are really going to expect those things to be perfect. So a few little things there for you to look out for when you are buying pieces. 
The other thing that I just want to talk about quickly is looking after things. So if you are buying fabrics which are um, a better quality or something like a silk, you do need to make sure that you are prepared to pay for the cost of owning that item. So if it is something that is dry clean only, you've got to remember that you've got to be able to um, do that. And it's not going to prevent you wearing that item because you don't want to have to keep having it dry cleaned. One thing that you can do is if something um, is perhaps not as fresh as it was, but it doesn't have any marks on it, then what I would do with that is steam it and hang it outside so that it will just freshen it up a little bit. And you can buy special waters that you put into your iron or your steamer that smell nice as well, so they will freshen them up. Um, I'll have a look and see what I can find and link some if I can find them. Um, but Amazon obviously is a great place to look for something like that. If it's a delicate fabric, one thing that I would recommend that you do rather than ironing onto it is um, perhaps to put another piece of cloth between that and the piece that you're um, pressing or steaming. Even something as simple as a cotton hanky, which you could just put in some water, wring it out and lay it over a silk item and then just gently press it. And that will steam the item without you getting sort of right on top of that delicate fabric. And just to mention about silks as well, a lot of silks will say dry clean only. I rarely, if ever, go to the dry cleaners and you know how many different pieces of silk I have in my wardrobe. I tend to all put them on the hand wash program in my washing machine. If you're not brave enough to try that, then um, use my steaming technique. But um, I really, I've never had a problem. Even my cashmere goes on the hand wash program in the washing machine. So very often something will say dry clean only and um, I will wash it. But obviously it's up to you whether you want to take that risk or not. And that can be a lot more friendly to the environment and friendly to your fabric because you're not using those harsh dry cleaning chemicals on it. So now I wanted to talk to you about some of the different brands to look out for and places to shop. And the first one that I want to mention is H&M. Now, for a long time, I steered well clear of H&M because it seemed to me that every single picture I looked at on Instagram, the item in question was either from H&M or from Zara. Got to the point where I was so sick of seeing those two brands, I thought, I won't be wearing them because everybody else is. But I do want to mention H&M because if you don't know, they have a premium quality section and um, it's a great place to look for silk pieces. It's also a good place to look for um, leather shoes and it's also a great place to look for some linen as well. So if you have a look at their premium quality collection, and there are a few things that I picked out. That I'm actually going to slot some pictures in here to show you. So first of all, um, silk blend trousers um, these wide leg trousers which I thought were absolutely gorgeous and they come in four different colours and they were £79 so still not really cheap but I did think a really good price for a pair of silk trousers. I also really liked this silk blend um, top it's blended with linen um, and it was reduced from £60 down to £35 and I thought the two pieces together would look absolutely stunning for an evening out. Really floaty, really beautiful and if you notice both of them are sort of quite neutral colours and I think this can make a difference as well because choosing something in a neutral can quite often elevate its look and make it look more expensive. Um, so those two pieces I really liked. The other thing that I thought was really fun was this little straw bag and the fact that it's lined inside as well I thought made it look like it was quite good quality. Something like this that you're only going to use during the summer months 
even if you only used it for one season and it got battered and you didn't use it again next year, um, for the price of it, I thought it was really worth it. I'm going to slot the price in because I haven't written it down here, so I will put the price on the picture. And then the next brand that I wanted to talk about is M & Co. Now we have an M & Co in my local town and I've hardly ever been in there, but I did go in there last summer and I did pick up this um, Brodery white dress. It's cotton, it's lined, it was in their sale, it was the last one that was on the rail and it was £20, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. So I did go and have a look on their website today just to see what else they had and I did find a few nice pieces for you. Starting with this viscose jumpsuit, so the fact that it was in viscose I really liked, I thought the shape was really nice and it was £17.99, so an absolute bargain. And then um, a pair of crop linen trousers, £24.99. They had those in a few different colours. I thought they looked really good too. And then I love this safari jacket. Um, this is new in, so it's not reduced. The other pieces were reduced. This isn't, but even so, it was only £34.99. Safari jackets have been so popular, and I thought this colour, it would take you through the rest of summer and probably right into autumn until it starts to really cool down. So I thought that was a really good buy. So definitely have a look at M and Co. And again, look for the fabrics. I actually did a search on linen to see what they had in linen, but I will um, put some links for you in the description box as well. The next one I wanted to talk about was La Redoute. Um, if you haven't looked at them before, they also do homewares as well as clothing. They have a huge selection. They do their own brand and they also do some named brands as well. They've got a huge sale on at the moment, up to 70% off. And there were a couple of things, again, that I picked out, which I thought were really good. Starting with um, this linen suit with a stripe through it. And I really liked the shape of this jacket because it's got a tie belt. So you could wear it loose if you don't have a waist. You could cinch it in with the tie belt if you do. You could also take the tie belt off and put your own leather belt over the top of it. But I thought it looked much more expensive than it actually was. So the jacket has been reduced from £70 to £42. And the matching trousers from £52 to £28. So for £70 you've got yourself a complete linen suit which I thought was a really good bargain. Because they're neutrals they're not going to date you'll be able to wear them again next year as well. So have a good look around La Redoute as well. And then I wanted to talk specifically about shoes as well. Again, with shoes, I do tend to prefer shoes that are leather or suede. They don't make your feet sweat as much. Um, they do tend to be more comfortable to wear. They do tend to last longer as well. Um, but sometimes, you know, if it's just a fun pair of shoes, then I will go for something that isn't leather or suede. But So I wanted to mention some places where you can get really good leather at good prices. And again, I wanted to pick up on H&M here. I found these little pink sandals. They also had them in a neutral colour, which I thought were really good fun. Um, they were originally £40, so even at full price, they weren't expensive. They're now reduced to £25. And then I also saw these suede slingback shoes, which again would look fantastic with the safari jacket that I mentioned earlier. And they are £49.99, so at full price at the moment. But again, even so, for a pair of suede shoes, I thought a really good price. I wanted to recommend as well that if you look at Spanish brands, a lot of the high-end retailers do get their shoes made either in Spain or Italy. So if you look at Spanish brands like Mango, you're probably getting a pair of shoes that are made in the same factory as somebody like LK Bennett. So it is worth having a look through and seeing what leather shoes they've got. And I picked out a few pieces from Mango. Um, first of all, a pair of suede ankle boots, which are very much like um, the ash boots. I'll put the two next to each other so that you can see them. And these are £59.90. Sorry, that cut out just then. <laughs> so just picking up hopefully where I left out off. So I was talking about 
um, suede ankle boots. They are $59.99, but compared to the Ash ones that they look very similar to, big difference in price. Then I also like these um, nude leather shoes because I thought they would just go with everything. They're a great option to have in your wardrobe um, that you can wear for work, you can wear them to dress up an outfit and because they're neutral again, they're going to get great cost per wear and they are $59.99. And then finally, the third pair that I really liked that I thought looked so much more expensive than they were are these black cutout shoes, again, at $59.99. Great with a dress during the day or even for dressing up in the evening as well. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about some places um, for sales and discounts. And a lot of the sales are supposedly coming to the end now. A lot of them have said till the end of this week or some of them were the end of last weekend. Don't believe what they say because what tends to happen is rather than really focusing on the sale, they're going to be focusing on new stock that comes in. But you will very often find that one of the menu items on their website is clearance or outlet. And so that's where all that leftover sale stuff goes to. So when you go and look at a brand, check whether to see whether it's got a clearance or an outlet tab and have a look through there. If you're looking for workwear, then a good option is Hobbs, something like um, this jacket, which has been reduced from £169 to £99. It's the perfect neutral jacket for work. Um, really good discount, still available in all sizes. And I think it's the kind of thing that you could wear in spring and autumn as well. Bowden have a really good clearance section on their website. You can search by size as well. So you can just put your sizes in there and see what they've got left in their clearance. Bowden quality is always really good. Even at full price, I like what they do. So in a with a discount, it's an even better bargain. Bowden do very often have good discounts. They will do um, what they call their um, dim disc, which is a diminishing discount that starts at a certain amount and goes down over days, or they'll do just little flash discounts. So it is worth keeping an eye out because um, then you can pick up some of their really nice pieces. As I say, at the moment it's 20% off, so great bargains there. Um, Jigsaw is really good for shoe bargains. These shoes, which I bought at the end of um, last summer season, I think I paid about £25 for them. So they do really good discounts with their shoes. So definitely worth looking at Jigsaw for shoes. Also, um, I found these silver sandals, which I thought were great. You know that I always bang on about having metallics in your wardrobe because they go with everything. These are reduced from £98 down to £39. They're leather, so great bargain there. And then I found another linen suit on Jigsaw, which I thought was a really good discount. Um, the jacket has gone from £199 to £59, so it's got 70% off it. The trousers from £98 to £58. So again, um, another really nice quality linen suit that is just over the £100 mark. And then, of course, I've got to talk about Eileen Fisher. Um, I know that... Um, a lot of you like the idea of Eileen Fisher. The prices are high. I do admit that they are high. The quality is impeccable. The styling and the cut is also incredibly flattering, I find. I absolutely love, as you know, Eileen Fisher clothes, but I don't always pay full price for them. And in fact, rarely do I pay full price for them. So there are a few places that are good to look for um, discounted Eileen Fisher. Um, John Lewis has this really lovely tensile sweater at the moment, this lilac one. Um, they've only got it left in an extra large, but it's a really flattering shape. And it's been reduced from £275 to £82.50. So still not cheap, but a really good bargain. Um, Harvey Nichols have got a lot of their pieces um, from this season and prior season, half price and some less, so they're definitely worth having a look at. 
Fenix also do really good sales. Um, so if you have a look at Fenix online, two brands, in fact, three brands that I like to look at from Fenix are um, Maasai. This top is Maasai. Um, they've done some really good discounts on Maasai this season. Um, they also do Eileen Fisher. They also do Weekend Max Mara. So their discounts have been very good. And again, you're getting those great quality or designer pieces but at a much lower price. So um, have a look at Fenix as well. And I also wanted to have a quick um, mention of John Lewis because John Lewis obviously has a huge variety of brands. They do everything from, you know, expensive. They do Chloe and Mulberry. And they do have Eileen Fisher, right down to some of the high street brands as well. So in everything in between. But I wanted to talk um, just briefly about T-shirts from John Lewis. They've, because they're really nice quality in their own brand ranges. And I found a couple that were really good. Um, their t-shirts range from five pounds in the sale up to 14 pounds at full price. And um, the 14 pound ones are organic cotton. So you're getting really nice quality at a really good price. And then the last one that I wanted to mention was just good old M&S. Um, but it does come with a but because M&S do use a lot of polyester uh, but there are a few things that are worth looking out for. They're cashmere in the winter, um, generally good um, and generally under £100 so definitely worth looking at that if you want cashmere and then some of their silk pieces are really good as well. I found this silk camisole, which I thought was beautiful, would look really nice, perhaps under a jacket or um, a floaty cardigan for the evening. It's £39.50, so I thought that was a really good price for it. it looks much more expensive than it is. And then these um, kind of Chanel style shoes, which are leather, they've done them in two colourways. This colourway has a lot more sizes left than the than the cream and beige pair do. And they're £39.50, they're leather. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention from Marks and Spencers was their cotton trousers. The sort of £25 mark. Um, and they do have a little bit of stretch in them so that they're really comfortable. And then while I was looking today, I just found this great pair of wide leg chinos, which they had in five different colors. Um, I really liked this pink color with the tie waist. So I thought they were a good option as well. So I hope that's given you some good ideas about um, where to shop for good quality, where to shop for bargains and discounts. If you have any questions, then please do leave them in the comments section. I will put as many links in the description box as I can to give you places to look for these things that I've talked about. And um, I will be doing on my um, weekly outfits every week from now on, I will be doing some budget friendly ones because it is something that you all said you would like to see more of. Um, so I am listening. And um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.